Hi again, it's been a week since uh, I put this a solution I made on here. So what I'm gonna do is pressure wash it off. So you'll see if it works or not. And pull it off, it's pretty gross. Let me turn on the pressure washer and let's go for it. See if I could do it with one hand. here it is as you see it's taking quite a bit off of it in a week I know some of you probably say well I want instant results well sandblast it then because uh, when you use this kind of product or even a vaporust it'll take some time this thing is over a hundred years old I found this hood in the desert um, I thought oh perfect you know I could use it as yard art or um, just play around with it so here it is uh, what I'll do on my next step is show you how I make it it's very simple it's only a few ingredients that you could buy at the grocery store and uh, it'll work great or buy the evaporous at $29 a gallon probably work a little quicker because they probably have more chemicals but you know I mean this is a great home home brew solution so you can do it for yourself all right here is the formula, it's not much of a formula. It's pretty much everything you buy in the stores or at Home Depot or online. The phosphate acid, you could buy this at Home Depot. I was trying to find it in powder form. You can't find it, but it's kind of a, a pain. Uh, the acetylic acid, buy that at Amazon, eBay. That is also a safe acid. Uh, citrus acid, you could buy that. I bought this at Winco, you know, bulk. It's really cheap. Um, also, you could buy this stuff, this uh, EDTA4NA. That's a, it's actually a, a salt, but what it does, it, it's also considered, I, I'm not too sure if it's a safe acid, but it's a, what it's called, cl uh, cl cleation. It, Cleating as agent, which binds and pulls the rust away from the good metal. Uh, molasses, that's another kind of a safe acid. But uh, apple cider vinegar works really well too, alone. Uh, these products I used, and they all cost around $10 for each one of those little containers. For $10, you could make a lot of this stuff. Uh, blender, you need a blender. The Zaptum gum is a thickening agent. So I recommend three teaspoons at the start off. And what it does, it, it thickens it. Uh, if you like it super thick, you just add a little bit more as you're mixing. Uh, also, you could buy just regular gelatin. That kind of helps too. Uh, to replace the... Uh, Acetic acid, you could buy potato starch, which is has a lot of acetic acid in it. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I'm not a good person when it comes to speech and whatnot. But like I say, this is kind of the example. What I use, I tried it. It works really good. Uh, you could try to mix it up a little bit different. Maybe add a little bit more citrus acid or acetic acid. Uh, molasses works really nice. Like I say, it's... It's how you mix it up, and uh, this is the way I mix it. It works fine. You could actually add a cup of water too with it to, to make it more diluted, but I like it as strong as possible. So I'll, I'll mix it up next. I'll show you. All right, now it's all mixed up, but it's uh, too watery, and the stuff works only better if you brush it and then you cover it with plastic because it needs to maintain wetness the whole time it's uh, cleating or whatever. Uh, what it does, it basically will go underneath the uh, rust and pull it out. 
Uh, this way, submerged will probably work fine if you have small parts and put it inside a container. But you, if you want to do a panel, you kind of got to make it a little bit, you know, thick, uh, almost like a like a jelly, like what they use these products use. So I found out that the Zathan gum works really good you could use gelatin but i don't think gelatin really uh will break down with these safe acids the xanthan gum is a little bit stronger can handle the acids and it can keep it in suspension uh make it more um thick but it's up to you how much you put in it i put like two or three tablespoons in it and it seems to work fine and in a couple of days i noticed it breaks down a little bit so you could actually add four instead of three so you could make it super thick and then as the 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 uh, items mix inside the jar or stay together it will break down a little bit and it'll make it the nice consistency you want not over thick but not too thin so i'll, I'll mix them in next all righty look at this uh this is after it's mixed for a few minutes and see how thick it is what that's what you need to put on your body it's like on the uh on the metal because once you put this on you cover it with plastic uh you definitely need a blender because if you try to mix it by hand you'll be there all day doing it but these few simple ingredients at first it costs a few bucks i think this was like 24 bucks i think that was uh 30 dollars. i don't think you really need that but it's I think it would work a little bit better if you had it. Let me see the apple cider. I think it was like three dollars. Uh, the potato starch will, you know, delete that, but you can still use it. Uh, the citrus acid is really cheap, so you could do all this for a reasonable amount of money. You can make gallons and gallons and gallons of this stuff. So thank you very much. I hope you use it. Let, uh, send me your comments. Tell me if it worked for you. I appreciate it. And thank you very much. And God bless.